So today we're here with one of the previous park directors, Jim Brooks. We're actually standing underneath a pavilion they named after him in 2015. So Jim, uh, maybe you kind of explain a little bit of history of Tom Barn Park and your involvement in getting to the, the park where it is today. Well, when I was a small boy, we, uh, I had an aunt that lived right over here before Tom Barn existed. And uh, the first things that was put in was the ball fields. And then little by little, all this other stuff was put in. But I was on the board for, I don't even know how long, over 30 years I was on the board. And uh, the crew that we had then wanted to see that this was developed, and they, they did. Everybody came together, and we, the community actually built this park, not one individual. The Bronson family and the McKeithen family had a lot to do with it in the beginning even out throughout the time it was going on. <clears throat> but the entire community came together and built the first kitty park over here. Yeah, I remember that park. It was a great wooden park, and we all loved it as children, and uh, I wish it was still here, to be honest. Yeah. Well, it got a little old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wood does deteriorate after yeah. a while, so that makes sense. But uh, every, I mean, everything was put here somebody wanted to put something in and we would tell them you know just get a group together and decide what y'all want to do and bring it before the board and you know get the community to help you and and then uh, that's how it all came together could you maybe explain a little bit about how you guys got the um, walking trail and uh, put in because i remember being a kid and that being a big project that was done it was just one of those things people wanted okay you know and then the uh Everybody wanted a place that they could come walk and enjoy the day, and uh, you know it's a nice uh, shady trail, and and uh, so. yeah, it is. We were just underneath there. Yeah. It is a, a great trail. I remember going when I was a Marine, or excuse me, before I was a Marine, and training to go to the Marine Corps boot camp and all. We would come out here and go running, and you know do laps around the the park and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, I remember that and my mom when I was even younger coming out here with her friends and walking the, the park and us getting to play while they're out walking. Yeah, that's the big thing too, that kids are, you know, this was built for the children. Yep. Basically, and then adults, you have to have adults involved in stuff to, you know, for the kids to be here. And uh, the ball field, that one right there, for example, it was for nothing but the little kids. And then somewhere down the line, uh, they allowed the adults to play on. The children, I mean, the adults weren't allowed to play on that in the beginning. So then we decided to let the adults play on it after the kids were through with it. But the children had the first shot at it. If, if they had a, a, an event going on, they're the only ones that could have it. They had first shot no matter what. Yeah, and I remember a lot of my buddies after high school and all that kind of stuff, they started some softball leagues and they would all come out here. I think my brother played on there and a few other of my friends uh, from high school did as well. So that is a good thing, you know, um, to have for adults. Like you're right, right. we want to have stuff to do too, you know. Right. Uh, it's hard to play on a playground when, <laughs> when you're, all, you know, 30, 40 years old. Yeah, I so. played softball here for over 20 years. You know, yes. my wife played softball here, my kids played softball here. Uh, this was the girls field, the ladies field, and that up there with the men field. And uh, it was just a great place to come. And the kids, like you said, played in the park when the adults were playing, and it's just the way it was, you know. Absolutely. Uh, we know that the Jerome Brown Community Center is just right down the road over here. Uh, did you have any involvement with that and being built? Because I know that kind of happened, you know, quite a while ago. Yeah, I did uh, help with the whole project. I was on the board then, and uh, it was something that the community wanted. Jerome Brown passed, and uh, I think Julia Jenkins was the driving point for that. Her and Les and and uh, the Red Mule Pub mm. had a lot to do with bringing that together, and the. Uh, Football, NFL, 
had a lot to do with that also. Yeah. So there's a lot of people had a lot to do with that, putting that together. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know, Jerome Brown was a hometown hero, uh, football player that went off to you know uh, the NFL, uh, played for the Philadelphia Eagles for a few years before he tragically died here in uh, the town of Brooksville. Um, and so they have since made a community center for him. He also has a camp for children. I remember as a child going to those. Uh, it was a great experience that was put on by NFL players that came here to a small town of Brooksville and put on a show for us and it was a great experience. Um, and people like yourself helping you know, the community with that tragic loss um, is, is great to hear and inspiring for us all. Uh, but yes, the park is looking great today. You know, this, this pavilion that they've built for you is beautiful. A mm -hmm. uh, great place to come and enjoy, you know, with birthday parties and, um, you know, gatherings and other types of events. You don't have to rent the space out, right? No. It's just available. And if you see a park bench that's open, you're open to the public. So come on out here and check out Tom Varn Park. Feel some history of Brooksville and, you know, let us know uh, what you guys think. I think you can reserve it. You know, uh, that you can reserve the pavilion behind us also. Okay. So you can, if you have an event that you want to do here, you can reserve this pavilion and that pavilion. And if that one up there has a bathroom, uh, the volleyball court, it's, it's kind of a night. Every, everybody can play volleyball, it seems yeah. like. <laughs> you know? Yeah.